dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Good morning, hi, welcome back to another L and J adventure. Um, kind of a new point in the series now. Uh, <coughs> excuse my sore throat, just woken up. Um, yeah, so obviously Disney is over with. We finished with Magic Kingdom yesterday, which was an absolute blast. Um, really, really good day, long day, but really nice. Had a bit of an issue getting back uh, with the Lyft um, pickup service from the tra Ticket and Transportation Centre, um, mainly because the like, Wi-Fi around there isn't very good and my mobile data wasn't working either, so. That was a bit stressful, but we got back in the end, as you can see. Um, and yeah, we're ready for our first full day in the Universal Parks. We've got three full days coming up. Tomorrow is Express Pass Day, so that will be the day we'll probably get the most attractions done. But today, um, we're just going to see what we can do. Get into the park a little bit later, but um, I know Universal itself is shut earlier for Halloween Horror Nights tonight, but Islands of Adventure is open till nine. Um, we're going to hang around there probably till about seven, because we've got a dining reservation at the Bob Marley Tribute to Freedom restaurant in City Walk at half seven. Um, which mum's really excited for. Um, but yeah, we've got um, quite a lot planned today. Obviously, we're just going to see what we can do in the parks. Obviously, we love Universal. We love Islands of Adventure. There's lots to do. Uh, Wizard World of Harry Potter, Rip Ride Rocket, E.T., Men in Black, The Simpsons. And uh, yeah, there's a few other things. I like would like to meet SpongeBob again because I've got my SpongeBob t-shirt on me today as well. But yeah, we'll see what we get done. We've got three full days here, so that'll be good. But yeah, like I say, it's kind of like a second part to this series, if you like. Um, we obviously spent a long time at Disney. Um, as of today, we've been in Florida for two weeks, so it's, it's madness, really, how quickly it's all gone by. Mandra and Josh have obviously gone home now, or they're going home later today, sorry. Um, so it's just myself, Jenny, Mum and John left in this series. Um, but yeah, three full days, including today, which should be a good one. I think it's now about, what time is it, Jenny? Um, <clears throat> 9.24. 9.24, so it's not early, but it's not late. So what we're going to do is we're going to meet Mum and John in the lobby in about five, ten minutes. And then we're going to head over to Universal, uh, where we're starting today, because obviously that's the one that shuts earlier. And I think we might go to the Today Cafe for breakfast, um, partly because we can use our Mardi Gras gift card that we've got there, whereas we can't use it in the hotel. But also because we went there for breakfast last year and it was really good. Hopefully it's not as long as the queue as last time. But yeah, we're looking forward to another Universal Day. If you like what you see in this vlog series, any videos before or the upcoming ones, then please do like and subscribe um, because if you subscribe you'll be notified of all our future content and uh, yeah feel free to follow us on social media as well at Liam Jen Adventures on Instagram and TikTok. So I changed my t-shirt to match John. Matching. Matching duff. Matching duff. So we're just doing our first attempt to get an ECVs on the Universal bus. It looks very similar to the Disney ones luckily so it should be pretty easy pretty straightforward. Mum's now getting on as well. We're on the Universal bus. We're now just stopping um, here because we can reactivate our cup that we bought the other day. Um, I think it's about $8 a day. I'll double check on that. But that means we get unlimited refills uh, every 10 minutes at least throughout the whole of the day in Islands Adventure and Universal. So, yeah. I'm gonna do that now. So, Jenny's enjoying a pink lemonade. Honestly, the sugar hit from that is better than a coffee in the morning. I actually got it wrong. It's $12 now per day to refill. It's gone up definitely yeah. since last year. but. Depends how many you have a day, it could still be good value, but... I could drink these every 10 minutes when you're allowed to refill, so... <coughs> I know, you'll get, you'll get the use out of it. So we're doing Universal first today because it shuts at 5 for Halloween Horror Nights, but Islands of Adventure is open later, and obviously we've got our dining reservation as well, so... Um, yeah, we're starting in Universal, we're going to go and sort the disability pass, hopefully, and then after that, <coughs> grab some breakfast and then start getting on some rides, hopefully. Um, it's been a bit of a later morning, but yeah, I had to, I forgot my bag, so I had to run back once the others went ahead on the bus, so I held us up a bit, but yeah, it's all right, we're nearly there now. Um, the entrance isn't too busy, so we're just about to scan in. So we actually had to exit the park to do the uh, disability service thing, um, and we've basically been just waiting in the queue for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, 
and yeah it's moving very slowly we're, we're not too far off now but yeah we're quite disappointed really because the point of Jenny getting his pass is that she can't queue for long periods of time and they're making her queue in order to get the pass so it's very disorganized and yeah not very impressed so far but with the customer service but hopefully we'll get the pass and it'll make things a bit easier for us but we'll see disability pass secured for Jenny fortunately um, god that took a long time as it was the cast the staff member was really nice so yeah we were getting quite frustrated but then he was really helpful and we got it done so we're now heading into the park entrance I think we kind of said today is a bit of a write-off because it's like nearly half 11 midday now and we thought we're not going to get loads done but we'll do our best we're going to go and grab something to eat take it a bit more chill we've got an express pass day tomorrow so we have to smash out loads of the rides then but yeah we're going to finally head inside um, and grab something to eat I think and then yeah see what rides we can get on and then in the middle of the day we'll hop over how the disability pass works then so you get a bit of card and basically if a ride queue is 25 minutes or less you go straight onto that ride with your party if the ride queue is more than that then you'll be they'll have write down a return time so say it's 45 minutes the staff member will write down 40 minute queue 40 minutes so come back in 40 minutes and you can ride that ride so yeah it is quite a good system once you get it um, but just be warned if you do want the disability pass you'll have to get into the park quite early because those that guest services line moves at a snail's pace it really does that's my only criticism i feel like they could have that organized so much better as it was when we actually got there they were really friendly so there you go we're done now we've got it and we're heading into the park entrance john's excited he's been looking forward to universal alter it so we're finally heading in um now i've got a queue for the tickets but <laughs> hopefully it won't take too long we got there in the end got the park maps and we're through into universal my word that took a long time but it's done now and uh yeah there's minion land which we've not seen before so that's quite cool um they've obviously got the new attraction villain con minion blast um which i'll be honest isn't one i want to rush to but it's supposed to be one that's a bit unique so we'll give that a go but all of that waiting and stress this morning has made us all a bit hungry so i think we're going to stop here at the today cafe where jenny and i had breakfast last year and we loved it um, they do a lot of pastries, sandwiches, coffees, so we're going to stop here, I think. So we've got various sandwiches on the menu here, um, as well as some afternoon treats. And then obviously a lot on display, so um, you've got the everything croissant sandwich, you've got muffins, you've got pastries, guava cheese brioche. Oh, that we had last year was really nice, the cafe con leche cinnamon roll. Um, and then, yeah, you've got a few more other things over here too. The Little, Capri Little Italy Caprese sounds nice. So Today Cafe is undoubtedly one of our favorite spots now in Universal, isn't it? The range of like pastries and stuff and coffee is really good. So we've gone for the uh, cruffin, cinnamon cruffin for Jenny and the cafe con leche one, although we'll probably share them. What's a cruffin? A cronut. And a muffin, yeah, something like that. But then a cronut is already a blend between two other things, so I'm not sure. That's great, thank you. Cheers, thanks. So we've also got our iced coffee to arrive. I've gone for an iced vanilla latte, so is Jenny. And then we're just waiting for our ham and gouda croissants as well. So we've gone all out because we're hungry after that uh, palaver this morning. But I'm glad that disability pass shenanigans is over because that was intense. You were struggling, had... bless you, weren't you? Yeah, really struggling. I think once I've had a coffee, eat something, the aircon's helping. I actually got one of my cooling towels out, put icy water over it and had it on my head. So... That kind of helped. We definitely haven't made use of the cooling towels as much as we should have no, done. No, every trip. day we've got them. It's been so annoying. I forgot something else this morning. I can't remember what it was. Well, you've forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we love the Today Cafe. It's a really good spot. Um, yeah, there was no, no queue today. Last year I queued for like 45 minutes. Last year we queued ages. It was absolutely rampant. There was nowhere to sit. And when I found a table, it was covered in like food and dirt. Uh, it's because it's so late. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think our last thing's arriving now too. That's great, thank you. Are there any straws? Thank you. Thank you. So, much. That'd be great. so we've gone for the ham and cheddar gouda, or so ham and gouda, not cheddar, um, croissant, which has been warmed up. Do you know what? We've got greedier because last year we shared one of them and one of them. <laughs> this year we've got one each. Yeah, and one but you know what? We've been here two weeks, so our appetites have grown. Oh, my appetite's fully expanded. I'm going to struggle when we get home. I think we have an American appropriate appetite now. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, today cafe is right in the park entrance as you come in. Really recommend it. So, Mum and John have gone for a couple of tarts, is it? You've got a strawberry tart. This is a strawberry mousse cheesecake. Strawberry mousse cheesecake. And I've gone for a couple tarts. of tarts. A couple of tarts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. And what have you, what you got? 
a thing here, so have you got something hot coming yeah, as well? I got a chicken pesto flatbread, but I ordered it. it came with Brussels, so I decided and I ordered it without I thought that. Brussels. Yeah. Yes. Has John got the same, or is he? We're sharing it. Oh, sharing it, nice. We're, we're, we're a bit greedier, aren't we? Yeah, well, I said this, we've been here two weeks, so our appetites have grown. Yeah. So these are all the new... Um, New air, uh, like food spots in Minion Land. So you've got Freeze Ray Pop, so do popsicles, Bake My Day, where you can get pastries and things. And then the lunch restaurant here is called Minion Cafe. So um, this is the new one that a lot of people rave about. Hopefully we'll be able to go there at some point. Um, so here you can get like the Minion shaped tater tots. So they've got loads of things there. Um, they've got a ramen, which a lot of people go on about as well. So yeah, good one for theming. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to be back in Universal. Obviously this whole area, is shut down at the moment for Halloween Horror Nights, which, as I said, unfortunately, we're not going to be doing this trip. We didn't think it was kind of worth it for us, but yeah, that's um, on tonight. And then the next two nights we're here, it's not actually on, meaning the parks are open later, which is good. You also have a place called Popanana, where you can get banana flavoured popcorn. Um, so another point. We'll have to see if we can try that out. First ride of the day, finally. <laughs> it's so stressful trying to sort the lockers and everything here, but... Just about to go on our first ride at about 5 p.m. So <laughs> it's, it's, one, it's 10 past one. I do like this ride. I'm not going to film one because I need my battery to get our locker open, but two because I want to beat Jenny. So we've just done Men in Black. I forgot how you have to use lockers for a lot of rides at Universal. So it's a bit tricky because my park ticket's on my phone. So obviously I have to take my phone on rides. So I have to find out how that works with like the bigger rides. But it's got a cooling towel on now. It's really nice. Really recommend getting one of these before you come away to Florida. Just pour water on it, wrap it around your neck and it uh, cools you down massively. So got one of them on. We're going to head back over towards the mummy now because it'll be our return time for that. But we're just going to see if The Simpsons has gone under 25 minutes, in which case we could jump on that on the way over. So yeah. We'll see. Obviously, it's been a slower start today, but it's nice to soak it all up. And I'm really glad we did Men in Black because I love that ride. Uh, annoyed Jenny beat me, but I did get the red button. Which... I always beat you, Liam. Liam. Liam is rubbish. I've only ever beaten Jenny on one shooting game, and that was one occasion on Toy Story Mania. Every other time she's beaten me. But yeah, I hit the red button, which I was really happy with because you have to time that right. But yeah, heading over to Simpsons now. Uh, if not, straight over to the mummy. Um, also worth noting, you can't film on any rides at Universal, they're very strict on it, so this vlog won't have much, if any, ride footage, but hopefully you'll still get a gist of our day, get to show you around Universal, the food, the atmosphere, that kind of thing, talk to you about the rides as well, um, but yeah, good day so far. As someone who grew up on The Simpsons, I love this ride. It is really good. I, I was really sad when it changed from Back to the Future, but actually Simpsons, I have to say, is better. I don't ever remember doing Back to the Future, oh, though. It's so good. Uh, yeah, I love this ride. It's really good. Hurry, put on these light vests. Krusty, is this a nuclear reactor? <gasps> what do you know about nuclear energy, kid? Leave that to us clowns. Oh. Well, Maggie, looks like I'll be taking care of... Maggie, stay with Grandpa. <laughs> now enjoy the Ferris wheel, or whatever this is. What do you want? A dish best served cold. Is it ice cream? No, <laughs> revenge! <laughs> 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 on vacation! Can't you kill me on the work day, Simpsons? Get in that ride! Anyone who's seen The Simpsons will get this reference with the bought um, name tag on the key ring. I think they do it a lot because it's the episode obviously where they go to Itchy and Scratchy Land and they have um, the name Bort rather than Bart. And uh, yeah, it's quite funny. So it's always good to see that when I come in here. I did. We're a bit on the big side. $27. That's not terrible. Hey, I got a great idea. Listen, uh, I like your ride. Once you get up to 88 miles an hour, let me know. I'll get your flux capacitor and you can do your own. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah, right, go ahead, go ahead. I, I think I, we max out at five at the moment. 
Oh, so there's I, a cover conversion yeah. song. Yeah, this yeah. way. You'll get going. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Right, so I think this fellow's taking a photo. Are you yes, a yeah, photo? just a photo. Yeah, yeah, just right, a photo. Do me a favor. Here's yeah. what we're going to do. You're going to be Marty. Okay. I'm going to be me. Okay. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to raise our watches like this. Yeah. And with the other hand, hold your glasses up mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Shocked expression. Ooh. Look at the camera. So, around right, 2 a.m. is when I'm leaving, so that's probably a good time to All pop right. by. I'll get those conversions I'll swing by. It. Sounds like a plan. And what's your name? Uh, Liam. Liam, pleasure to meet you. And you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the see future. You see you later. See you in the future. <laughs> Although they've gone up in price, we are big fans of these refillable cups in Universal, aren't we? Controversial. I don't like Diet Coke. I don't like full fat Coke. I don't like Coke Zero. I'm not really a Coke girl, but the vanilla Coke. I like Coke, so I'm allowed like one or two a day when we do this normally. And I've just got a vanilla Coke in it. It's the nicest of the Coke. That's a Coke Zero with vanilla, so it's a vanilla Coke Zero. Oh. Um, but we normally have Minute Maid Lemonade, uh, Powerade, that kind of thing, because you like that. The Minute Maid Lemonade Pink is your favorite, isn't it? I prefer full fat vanilla. Fair enough. But I rarely drink full fat Coke, I only have Coke Zero Diet Coke. But they're good, these refillable machines. There's a lot that's of flavour right. choices. I want to try the grape Sprite later, that's what mm. Mum and John had yeah, earlier. Nice. Very good. Yeah. It's now time for our Revenge of the Mummy return, so we're just going to use the lockers over here and then redeem our disability pass. I just learned that you can take bum bags onto these rides, so as long as it can go across you, you're fine to keep the bag. I never knew that. I thought all bags had to go in lockers, so that's good. But yeah, because of the disability pass and our return time's now come, we've gone through the express um, express queue, and so it shouldn't be too long away. First, all I know is that the local. Mummy was good fun. Uh, they have updated it apparently. Um, I didn't. It wasn't as quick as I remember, but it was still really good fun. Um, the uh, the shop here is really cool as well. All of these kind of that was scarier like than I remember. I remember as a kid, it took me because I I realised earlier I've been coming to Universal for twenty years. Yeah, you're a Universal you're really girl. Old. Um, but I remember when I was younger, I was like way too scared to do it, even though I was tall enough. Um, but that was scary, but really fun. It was good, wasn't it? Really no, it was good fun that ride. But yeah, it's a really cool little shop. Is this part of the tribute store or not? No, I think it's just a normal shop. So, I want to see the tribute. It's really well done though. So, Rip Ride Rocket went down, but then went back up again. So, I've got a return time for that for about 45 minutes. We're going to grab something light to eat now because we've got dinner later, but we wanted something to get us through. Uh, and then we'll be able to get back to Rip Ride Rocket after that. Um, so, that'll be good. Apparently, because I can't take my phone on it, which has got my pass, so I have to swap it for a locker ticket. So, hopefully, that'll be easy enough. But yeah, we're going to head to Mills, drive in diner now for something light to eat. Scrap that. Mel's diner's can um, closed apparently. Don't really know why, but uh, we'll have to go and find somewhere else to grab something quick to eat because, yeah, it's all shut. I mean, it does say closed outside, but I don't know if that's a permanent thing or for Halloween Horror Nights. I'm not sure. It's not a permanent thing. Oh, it's a nice little stop. I wanted to eat there um, last year, but we didn't get time. But never mind. We'll have to find somewhere else. Minion Cafe is not too far away, which is good. We want to kind of stay in the vicinity of Rip Ride Rocket because we've got a return time for that shortly. So we'll see what we can find. Plan B, we're going to go to the brand new Minion Cafe, which I'm not disappointed about because I did want to eat here. Um, yeah, check out the new spot so in Minion Land. Jenny has uh, found a good photo spot outside the Minion Cafe. Are you helping in pain? So at the Minion Cafe, they highly recommend you do table order using the QR code on the uh, Universal app. Um, we're not doing that just because I had a Mardi Gras card to use and it only lets you do credit card. Um, but I've managed to go up to the kiosk, which is just there, and it wasn't actually that busy. But it's really cool in here. Um, you, got, you can see the Minions preparing all of our food here. Um, but I got the Uncle Drew's pork sandwich with tater tots for Jenny and I to share. But yeah, it's really cool, even like the uh, little kitchen um, utent kitchen gadgets sorry you've got little eyes on them there's a lot of bananas around so mum's gone for uh, one of the minion drinks do you know what's in this one is it it's banana oh banana, banana. <laughs> apparently if you would mix that cream into it it tastes like a banana cream pie that's right yeah, yeah. he's cute <laughs> and this is jenny and i's lunch we've gone for the uncle joe's pork belly sandwich so it's like porchetta in there and a load of other things 
I mean, look at these minion tops. I love them. Um, so yeah, paid one dollar to upgrade to them. So we're gonna half this because we don't want too much because we've got dinner at half seven at Bob Marley tonight. But so Mum and John have gone for the steak sandwich, the Philly cheese steak one, I think, or something. <laughs> like a cheddar bar, the steak sauce. is. And they've oh. also got the minion tops. It's a little prepared. So, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I thought it was just a sticky thing. So you're sharing that, aren't you? It actually looks a bit bigger than what we had, but that was good, wasn't it? It was the right amount kind of for us, I, I think. I wasn't starving, so it just... Didn't want to ruin our appetite yeah. before dinner, so mm. that was good. All done in the Minion Cafe. Uh, it was only a kind of flyby stop just before it ride rocket, but it's really cool in here. It's a good spot to grab lunch. That porchetta was really nice, and so was the Minion Tots, so... Yeah, I'm impressed. Mum wasn't too... Mum and John weren't too keen on the uh, banana drink. And they said it was a bit too, like... Um, sickly really but uh, no it's really good in here I've done really a good job with it and uh, obviously there's the freeze pop stand and the place where you can get banana popcorn and the bake shop as well so yeah there's a few different bits around here and obviously there's the new ride Villain Con Minion Blast which I don't really think, don't think we'll get around to doing today the plan now is we've got about 10 minutes before we can go on Rip Ride Rocket mum's gonna do this for the first ever time so hopefully she'll like it and then once we've done that we're gonna then head over to Diagonally Diagonally and we're going to grab the um, Hogwarts Express train over to Islands of Adventure. Now, I think the Express train is the only ride at Universal that takes ECVs. Um, so hopefully that'll be all right. We'll get across to Islands and then we've got um, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is quite a low wait time at the moment. So with the disability pass, we might be able to get straight on that. So we'll see. But yeah, really good day so far and I'm excited for it Ride Rocket. So you ready for this? Yes. I uh, just want to say that I've never ever wanted to go on this before and I've always been extremely frightened because I don't like heights. had a little bit of uh, hypnotherapy to take away my anxiety which seems to have worked so I'm going to go and give it a go and I'll let you know how I get on shortly. Good stuff, you're going to be absolutely fine. There it is. So we're done with it, Ride Rocket. You weren't a fan, were you? I have to say, I thought I was gonna love it. I absolutely hated it, but I think the reason is I hate heights. So I go on once in the dark where I can't see on fine. It's not the speed, it's the height. So no, I never again. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank so unfortunately mum wasn't a big fan of Rip Ride Rocket. I have to say that rattles your head more than I remember, but yeah, we're done with that now and we're done with this park. We're just gonna stop in the Universal store because Jenny wants to get one of these lanyard holders and the one we got was too small and apparently have a bigger one in there. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna hop over to Islands of Adventure because that's open a bit later because obviously Halloween Horror Nights is about to start here. So we're gonna go over there and to cheer mum up after that, I think we're gonna do two of her favorite rides. We're gonna try and do Kong and um, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. So. Yeah, a couple of chill rides to finish the evening before heading over to City Walk for dinner at uh, tribute to Bob Marley Tribute to Freedom. And it's the Villain Con ride, which we'll try and do at some point too. We'll be back at Universal almost definitely tomorrow because we've got Express Pass, so we'll probably want to do both parks. Um, and there's a few rides we've not done here that we love, i.e. E.T. Um, John will want to do Rip Ride Rocket again. Uh, well, we'll probably want to do it apart from Mum. Uh, and then there's a couple other rides we've not done here like Transformers and the Bourne Stunt Spectacular and Jimmy Fallon as well. So yeah, but we're gonna head over to Islands now once we've got this lanyard. So apparently the um, uh, card holder thing we want, I don't think we can get it in here, but someone said they got it in City Walk, so we'll have a look later tonight, I think. There's lots of mugs here in the Universal main shop. I quite like the look of the Today Cafe one. I really like the Today Cafe um, earlier today and it comes with a little saucer or you can get this kind of mug and then a little one as well, like espresso style. Um, but yeah, lots of mugs. There's Jimmy Fallon, there's Best Vacation Ever, Simpsons. There's Bourne Stunt Show, which I really want to do this trip. Um, and we've got some of these kind of classic sort of tumbler style cups as well. So goodbye to the studios today. We managed to do four rides, which is a uh, pretty good going. We did Men in Black, Simpsons, um, Rip Ride Rocket and uh, Revenge of the Mummy. Grabbed a bite to eat as well. Um, so we had a good, good day actually. We're gonna head over to Islands now, bash out a couple of rides hopefully, and then head for dinner. So it's been a good day. So obviously it was a bit slow starting, but we got there in the end. And uh, yeah, we'll obviously be back here tomorrow and the day after. 
and we've got the express pass tomorrow which is going to speed things up a lot hopefully so yeah i'm excited for tomorrow's uh, express pass day but we've had a really good one and uh, it's nice to be back in universal i forget how much i actually do like it i always say how much better islands is islands of adventure but actually this park's got a lot going for it too so yeah i think we're going to try for kong and forbidden journey if we can but we'll see um, what the queues are like so an example of how things can change on a Florida holiday, we've actually just gone and cancelled our reservation for tonight at Bob Marley Tribute to Freedom because we forgot this park is open till 9pm, whereas the other two nights we're here, they're only open till 7. So it makes sense to do a dining reservation on one of those nights. As it is, we couldn't rebook it, but they said walk-up availability is all right. So we've cancelled it tonight, going to eat in the park, bash out some rides, and then on the other night, we'll walk up to Bob Marley after these parks shut and see what we can get. So that's the plan of action anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be an Islands Adventure. We're gonna go and try and get a return time for Hagrid, which is 95 minutes at the moment. Actually means we might end up doing it in the dark. Um, and then we've got Forbidden Journey is only a 10 minute wait. Um, but yeah, walking through Seuss Landing at the moment, which I've always loved, so much fun. I'd love to be here at Christmas time when they have the Grinchmas stuff on. Um, I've also realized it's been predominantly me today. Jenny's obviously been in the ECB and it's been a bit tricky to get her in the thingy but um she is very much here and having a good day as well and jenny is actually mrs universal because she's been here a lot more than i have i've done universal a lot but not as much as jenny um but yeah really excited to be here so jenny and i just went and got a hagrid return time so we could be doing that in the dark which is cool uh in the meantime we thought we'll go on cat in the hat because why not you excited I love cat in the hat, so yes. some people find this terrifying to be fair but yeah this is one of my childhood favourites, so I'm excited to do this. No videotaping, unfortunately. This is a good one, though. You cannot move for Thing 1 and Thing 2 stuff in this shop. It's everywhere. You've got hats, you've got hoodies, you've got plushes, you've got more t-shirts, you've got... I already said hats. What have you found? That's Peggy's size. Oh, we found for our dog, Peggy. She's that small. Thing one. Yeah. Peggy sing two, because her favorite number is two. No, it's three. She's Peggy's sing three. three. <laughs> Where's that future thing you found? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's cute. No time soon. <laughs> Mother of all things. Father of all things. Yeah, it's quite easy to pair up. I like this cat, the cat and the hat, to be fair. This little range. I got a lot in this range. I had the Barton Simpson, uh, Barton Homer Simpson earlier. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. So this is where we're eating tomorrow for lunch. Jenny and I had uh, lunch here last year. Mythos, absolutely amazing in there. Really cool, like atmosphere. The food is brilliant. Um, and according to Theme Park Insider, it is the world's best theme park restaurant. So yeah, definitely one to add to your list, Mythos. And now we're heading into Hogsmeade. Jenny and I were just saying, this rivals anything at Disney in terms of Pandora, Galaxy's Edge. Only thing we'd say is it's as crowded as Fantasyland in Magic Kingdom. They just need to make it 20, minute, 20 meters wider and this would be perfect. Um, it's a little bit too narrow. Even now when it's a bit quieter, it's just chaotic. You're doing a very good job of getting through with the scooter. It's a little bit arrogant, which makes me really uncomfortable. But it's either that or get crushed. Well, exactly because people kind of forget about you a bit, don't they? But yeah, this is just so cool. It'd be nice to have a little look around in the shops actually, because you don't always have the time for that. But yeah, this, they've just done so well with this. I, we're, we're Harry Potter fans and um, even Ollivander's there. It's just perfect. I just, I love walking through Hogsmeade um, and I love Forbidden Journey, which is what we're going to do now. We come around the corner and there you see Hogwarts. How amazing is that? It's a shame they're not doing the light show at the moment on the castle. That was really impressive last year. But um, yeah, this is just so cool. I love being in this area. There comes a time when all of us must make a choice between what is right Ah, you found it. <clears throat> $14. This is the card holder we were looking for. $14 and it's got Hufflepuff on it. I mean, you could use it at home as well, to be fair. Yeah, and it's one of these ones that like you put around your waist, so... And you can pull it, so or we can have our passes in that. We've got our lanyard already, I reckon. It would... Clip onto that. Clip on there. And, and then you got, got one. Like there. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, good idea. Enjoy Forbidden yeah. Journey. Yeah, it was great. It's good, isn't it? So it's not quite dark yet, but we are going to do Hagrid's nonetheless. Um, yeah, 
So saying, it used to be my number one. I think Guardians has just overtaken it now. But I might change my mind after going on it again. But this is just an insane. Do you have any questions? So we're just done with Hagrid's. Oh, that's such a good ride. I was just saying to Jenny, I think that and Guardians are tied for me as number one. Um, you don't have to compare them, obviously, but it's just so much fun. Like that was, I was on the bike, Jenny was on the sidecar, and it was just, it's just brilliant. It's, it's the best coaster I've ever been on, bar maybe Guardians. It's just the way they've like combined so many elements, not to spoil it for anyone who's not done it before, but it's got so many elements to it. The theming is on point it's quick it's a real thrill but not too much that it's intense i massively prefer that kind of ride to anything like rip ride rocket hulk velocicoaster personally that is for me number one um in universal so yeah really enjoyed that mum and john saying it might be their favorite or john said it is his favorite um really good so yeah i'm really happy and we did it kind of as you'll see the time of the evening kind of getting dark not dark yet but it was really cool to do it this time of the evening and i imagine it's even better in the dark but um, yeah, we're just gonna grab something to eat now and I think we're gonna head into the three broomsticks and maybe get a fish and chips or something. And then, uh, and yeah, and then we've got maybe an hour or so um, to do a couple of rides in the dark before we head back to the hotel. But it's been a jam packed day, um, really enjoying it and loving being back in Hogsmeade and the Wizarding World as a whole because it's theming is just sensational. They've done such a good job with it. Every time I walk in, I'm just so immersed. It feels like you're in the books, in the films. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. But Jenny's just gone to the toilet, waiting for her, and then we're gonna head inside for food. Change of plan. It's a 50 to hour minute wait for food in the uh, three broomsticks. I'd heard it was busy, but I didn't realize it was that busy. So we're gonna grab something quick somewhere else. Um, it's quite a lot of options, so we'll see what we can find. So we stopped for a quick and easy meal at the Burger Digs by Jurassic Park. Uh, presumably mainly a burger place, but um, grilled chicken sandwich on there as well. Um, but yeah, check out their menu. I'm sure they've got a few things on here. So it's quite a basic menu at Burger Digs, but we got the Casado burgers without the plantain. So there's pork belly and avocado in there. Some fries, Jenny's got the same. And then we got some onion rings as well. And then mum and John have got the bacon cheeseburger. It's a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tepid. You got a nice fresh one, mate. Well, yeah, they accidentally gave our order away to someone else, so they had to make mine fresh, but oh, not complaining. Man. Wow. Yeah, they put a lot in there. That wasn't me, that was them. <laughs> so dinner was all right, it was pretty nice. Um, we're now going to head over and try and do the Jurassic Park River Adventure, because it's only 10 minutes, so we can get straight on with the disability pass. We don't mind getting wet, because it's quite hot. And then I think Jenny and John are going to do Velocicoaster, because they got return time for that. I'm going to sit it out. I did it last year. I didn't really enjoy it. I'll kind of be doing it for the sake of doing it, so um, call me a coward, but I'm going to sit it out because it's a bit too much for me. Whilst they do that, I think me and Mum are going to see if we can do Kong because that's only 10 minutes as well, and maybe just queue for that whilst Jenny's on Velocicoaster. You alright? You got a drink? Yeah, I got refill. Pink lemonade as always. How many do you reckon we've had today? Four, maybe five. Oh, we've had, oh lemonades. Oh, I've just been drinks. Oh, drinks. Six, I reckon. So if you're talking about four ninety five a drink, it's like thirty dollars, and we pay twelve dollars, so it's good still good value. Really, isn't it? Yeah, and they're big, big sizes. You know, you don't What's really. It, Thirty-two ounce. Thirty-two I think ounce, they call massive. It? We've, our teeth are probably going to rot by the end of today. It's fine. We're going looking to the forward to Velocicoaster? coaster. Yeah. 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 I was just saying, I'm probably going to sit it out, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the river adventure now. Ready to get wet. Yeah, hopefully not too wet. It's warm enough. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> You can't tell me this isn't yeah. cool in the dark. This is cool in the dark. It's great in the dark. This is, yeah, it does look and smell amazing. And I think the sign here is going to be awesome. Yeah, well, that's what That's what I'm trying to capture. I'm not going to be brave enough to film down the drop. Got a bit wet, didn't we? Yes, we did. Funny that. 
Yeah, I'm not very popular at the moment because that was no. my idea to go on that Liam ride. Liam was going, please, please. I love it. How cool was it at night though, it admit? It looked amazing. But I have wet knickers and I'm really cold. Yeah, but you'll dry off on Velocicoaster. Yeah. Well, I liked it. I am wet too, to be fair. You get way more wet on that than I remember. We were all front row. But, whew, cold now. So while uh, Jenny and John brave Velocicoaster, Mum and I are heading on Skull Island Reign of Kong because um, I think it's quite a short wait. So we're going to go and do that standby now and then meet up and leave the park. But yeah, this is a good one. It's eerie. together. Jenny and Joy Velocicoaster. We were front row. It was amazing. Best thrill coaster I've ever done. That was awesome. Yeah. So, so good. I have to say, looking at it then, I was like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't do it. But um, it's definitely a very, like, a very good ride if you're, like, thrill seeker. Uh, it's the most, like, it's the quickest ride I've ever been on uh, and the biggest thrill I've ever seen. I do like that top hat bit, to be fair. That is really good. But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was really well, good. Yeah, well, because um, where you get the elevator to go through like the disabled like entrance, it took us to the point that we were on the exit side. And John made a really good point that as everyone was getting off, we could see their faces. And it was about 50-50. People were either smiling and really happy. And, like there was one woman who was like this and looked like she was actually going to throw up. So it was really mixed. Some people looking pale and ill and some who were like, yeah, it's great. You're either a Velocicoaster person or you're not. I think it's a bit of a Marmite ride. Do you like it, John? I loved it. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was brilliant. Really fun. Yeah, that's epic. You can hear it there. John, John's been was looking forward to it for the whole trip, so I'm glad he got onto it today. And in the dark as well. Um, but yeah, it's so quick. So, so quick. But yeah, we've done well today. I think we worked out, we've done nine rides between us, because obviously mum and I did Kong whilst they did Velocicoaster, so we've done the same number of rides today and we've all done nine rides, which given we entered the park quite late, pretty good effort. Um, but yeah, I think we're now going to head back to the hotel. If we can jump on a ride on the way out, we will, but I think the park's getting shut down now. So, But no, Islands of Adventure at night is amazing. Every ride here is better at night in my opinion. Kong was more atmospheric, Jurassic Park was good, Velocicoaster was apparently better. So yeah, I think if you can do Islands of Adventure at night, also, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this in very clearly. The Hulk and Doctor Doom's Fearful at night as well. They look very good. We did um, the Hulk and Doctor Doom's Fearful in the dark last year and they were both really, really cool. But yeah, amazing night, really enjoyed it. We stopped at Cinnabon on the way out. Look at the icing on these, that is insane. I'm also eyeing up the caramel pecan bon. Look at the icing, oh wow. The goods have been acquired, although I just dropped it on the floor. I literally just watched Liam drop it. I was like, if that's smushed, I'll smush you. Yeah, uh, we got one each. We're greedy. We're probably going to have half tonight and half in the morning. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I could manage it all now, but the smell, when the, uh, when the doors open. I'm obsessed with amazing. Cinnabon. I love it. Me too. It looks oh, so good. But yeah, City Walk's really lively at night. It's a great place to be. You've actually got the cinema here as well. One day I'd like to watch film in there, although we did, of course, uh, go to an American cinema um, earlier in the trip to see the Taylor Swift thing. So check out that vlog if you're interested. But... And so we're done for the day. Again, an amazing first day at Universal. Do you know what? Considering we had a really slow start to the day with setting up the disability pass and the fact we had a lie in after Magic Kingdom yesterday, um, I think we did really well. Yeah, it was a stressful start to the day actually, but it got resolved and it's just a lesson, you know, if things don't go right, don't stress because things do get back on track eventually. I'm the worst at that, but it does, you know, we're all guilty of it when things aren't going to plan or you're hot you're overstimulated and then something stressful happens you're overwhelmed like it's it's easy but i mean you just have to remember you're on holiday i was gonna say yeah the you end know, of the day on holiday at least you're not at work at least you're not at home dealing with normal life stuff i thought that today at one point i was like today i'm like stressing about getting on rides mm. at the right time like that's not really a big, big stress, is it? Let's be honest. So I'd rather that than, you know, <coughs> oh, I'm going to be late to work. Yeah, everything. exactly. So yeah. really good day. We did nine attractions. Obviously, Jenny and John did Velocicoaster. Mum and I did um, Kong, which was really good. But yeah. we had an amazing day. Really, really good day. And uh, tomorrow, 
getting ready to do it all over again. Although there's obviously quite a few attractions we, we didn't get around to doing. We wouldn't do Universal in one day. So we're going to hit the Marvel area first tomorrow. Do Hulk, yeah. Spider-Man, um, Doctor Doom maybe. Mm -hmm. We've also got the water rides like Popeye and Dudley Do rides we want to do. So yeah, and we've got the Express Pass tomorrow. So tune in for the next vlog where you'll get to see how the Express Pass works, see how much we can get done. And we're going back to one of our favourite restaurants in Orlando. We're going Mythos. to Mythos. Yeah, you're excited for that, aren't you? That was amazing last year. So really looking forward to it this year. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Mythos was great last time. So, yeah, so we've got that planned for lunch. And, uh, yeah, then we'll probably have some chill time by the pool in the evening. But thank you so much for watching again. Please do like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, again, it's probably a very long one. It's been a very long series. <sighs> My if... hair is still wet from Jurassic Park. My scrunchie's soaking oh, no. wet. Yeah, we got, I, I got the blame for that. I, uh, Do you know what though? That was so atmospheric. It was good, wasn't yeah, it? it? Oh, was the really park good. at night is so cool. If Top you can, tier. if you can, on a Halloween horror night or just any time of year, really, if you can get into Islands of Adventure like when it's dark. Oh my god, it's so good. Definitely, it's really. Um, really we fun. actually did it last year as well. We did a few um, rides oh, in the dark. It's wet. Look at that. <laughs> you are, yeah. And hey, you'll dry off overnight for mm. sure. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, like I say, it's a long vlog series. So if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow our social media at Liam Jen Adventures. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Hello. Welcome back to another uh, L&J adventure. Sorry if my voice is a bit raspy this morning. Um, we are obviously at Aventura Hotel still for anyone who's new to the vlog series. Um, anyone who's new to the vlog series, we're quite far through. So feel free to go back and have a look at our previous ones. But yeah, we are on our second day here at Universal, or as in second day of the parks. Um, and excitingly today, it is Express Pass Day. And look who I'm joined by. I've got the Express Passes here. Um, so we've paid for the two park standard express, which basically means you get on every ride once. The only ride exempt from the entire Express Pass thing is Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventure, which fortunately we can use a disability pass for. Um, but for everything else, it's pretty much just gonna be a case of going straight into the express line, which is really handy. We've got Prim Mum and John's off first this morning. Um, but are you ready for today? Very excited, got my lanyard now. Um, and it was so hard to find a card holder um, that fit the disability passing because they were all like sideways and it was a funny shape. So yeah, got a Hufflepuff one. So it's one of these, which is yeah, cool. It's really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we had to look a little, where did you get that from again in the end? It was the- Filches at the end of Forbidden Journey. That's it, yeah. So if you're after that, that's where you go for that. They've got all the house ones. I didn't see any ones that weren't Harry Potter, but yeah. Mm, nice, and you got your hair braided nice through today. I have, well, I'm going to get very wet later, so this one's kind of sticking out to the side. But yeah, so on our list of priorities today are um, Popeyes, the ring ride, which you get drenched on, and Dudley Do Rights Ripsaw Falls, maybe Jurassic Park again if we're already wet. We could also do Spider Man because we can get to do that last trip, mm -hmm. Hulk. Um, so we want to do Islands of Adventure first thing. We've then got lunch booked at Mythos, which we loved last year, really looking forward to that. And then the second half of the day or the afternoon, we're probably going to head over back to Universal, do things like E.T., Escape from Gringotts, maybe Transformers. And then, yeah, the park shut at 7, so it'll be a bit of an earlier one. Um, we'll probably come back to the hotel and maybe have a dip in the pool down there. Mm, sounds good. Sounds like a good day. Are you ready to go? Very ready. So, yeah, I got the famous double smoked bacon, cheddar and egg sandwich, which I've really enjoyed this trip. You keep getting that, don't you? I love yeah, it. They don't have it in the UK, thing. so I've got to, you know, as far as I'm aware. You got the iced pumpkin spice latte again. It's just so good here in America. And you're devouring the cinnamon roll you bought last night. Uh, and I got an ice vanilla latte. Mum's been healthy. You got fruit. They do over there, this uh, bakery station, they do like fruit and yogurt bowls and like um, granola and stuff. So that's a bit of a healthier option. And John's just got coffee. Did you have anything this morning food wise? Yeah, you had a croissant. Did I have the croissant? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Filled with bacon egg. and egg and cheese. And nice. Yeah, that's what I had the other day. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to eat this, then sort the express passes, and then make our way to the parks. So whilst we're waiting for security, I might as well tell you my plan for the day. Our plan for the day. Uh, I think we're going to head straight towards the Marvel Superhero Island and try and do Hulk, Doctor Doom, and Spider Man with the express pass first of all, and then after that we're probably going to head over and do some of the water rides like Popeye and Dudley Do rides. I might have already said this, but just to recap. But yeah, it's quite a long queue of security, but it's going to be the longest queue we do today, so I can't complain too much. Um, and it's coming up to 10, so we've got a good nine hours in the park using the Express Pass, so we should get a lot done, hopefully. So mum has stopped. I'm going to move over here because of the copyright. Mum stopped at Cinnabon because she didn't eat. She ate her cinnamon roll last night rather than this morning, so she wants something from there um, after her fruit this morning. But I've just paid to reactivate our cup, this freestyle cup. 
Um, just a reminder, it's $12 a day. It was $20 initially and then $12 a day to reactivate it. But we had about six, seven, eight sodas in it yesterday, which is normally about $4 a pop. So definitely got our money's worth. Um, and there's loads of different flavors. You've got different sprites. It's like a grape sprite, which is interesting. There's Minute Maid Lemonade, there's Coke. So I think it's worth it if you like soda and you like drinking during the day. So Jenny and I have been having this one between us. It does say don't share, but I think it's all right. Um, so I'm just gonna fill this up now. I'll still wait for mum and then we'll head into Islands of Adventure. There are a few parks I think that are more exciting to walk into than Universal's Islands of Adventure. The port of entry bit here is so cool and so well themed and it does get you really excited for a good day. So Hulk is our first stop with the express bus. Um, obviously we've got the standard, so we can only do it once, but mum's sitting this out. I don't think she enjoyed River Ride Rocket yesterday, so she's decided to skip this one, which means we don't have to get a locker, which is always good. So yeah, Hulk first up. Just did the Hulk, such a good ride. Obviously couldn't take anything on it to film, but yeah, really, um, I was just saying how Rip Ride Rocket rattles my head, but that doesn't at all. I could ride that again and again, I think. Um, it's just so much fun. And that launch at the beginning is just, oh, brilliant. Really love the Hulk. So we're now all gonna head over to do a ride where we can all do together. Over there, I think, there. Anyway, we're gonna go and do Spider-Man. Um, last year, I don't know if any of you remember our vlog series, it was a bit jolted at the time because it was our first ever series, but on our last day in Universal, actually the day I went on to propose to Jenny that evening, we tried to do Spider-Man and we got to the front and it had broken down. So we said this was a priority this trip. So we've got Express Pass. So we're gonna head there now and use the Express Pass on Spider-Man. Um, and then after that, I think we're gonna do Doctor Doom. But yeah, Hulk was brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I love that ride. The Daily Bugle. Guys, oh, I've like been in the office. This is one of my favourite guys. I like the How much fun was Spider Man? That's so good. I'm so happy we got to do it this year, and it's so much better than I remember. It was, so many elements to I it. I loved that one as a kid. It's um, a nostalgic and I love one for you, isn't it? Yeah, he, oh, amazing. So much fun. That was really good. Like, it's just like I said, so many different elements the water and the fire and the electric shock. I remember shock. the fire and the heat was still really scary. I know. And today I was like, yeah. I tell you what, it doesn't look dated, does it? No, Not it's aged cool. really well. It's um, aged brilliantly. Have they updated the screens? Because Maybe they have. I know they've done it some really rides. good. Do you I, have a key ring? Yeah, you can get a ring. Um, no, I, Jenny and I have had the debate before whether what's better out of that and Transformers. And before I said Transformers, but doing that again, there might be recency bias, but I'm like, actually, no, that is no, a that lot is better. No, that is way better. It's Trust really me, good. that's way better. Yeah, but two rides down. Um, and Jenny's looking at the key rings. Dangerous yeah, times. Jennifer. So uh, John, Jenny and I just did Doctor Doom's Fearful. Again, no filming at Universal. I didn't really want to take my uh, phone up there to be honest, but yeah, it's over very quick, but it's really good. You get such good views up there and that like anticipation at the start, really good thrill. So yeah, we've bashed out three rides already. Um, don't know what the time is. I think it's about 11.40, something like that maybe. And we've already done Spider-Man, Hulk and Doctor Doom. So yeah, making a good day of it so far. I think now the plan is to stop for a restroom break and then head over to Toon Lagoon for Popeye and Duffy Do-Right. So we're gonna get a bit wet, but we've all got to change of clothes, which is good. So I'm not very happy, because I just discovered that Dudley Do-Right's Ripsaw Falls is down for refurbishment. What's that about? So I'm just gonna be Popeye in Jurassic Park. Sorry, it's very loud. We've arrived in Toon Lagoon. This is so well done, this bit. He's very nostalgic for Jenny and I too. 
I'm very disappointed that Dudley do Rights Rips All Falls is shut though, as I just found that out on the app. You can see construction to be fair. See, we didn't come to this area yesterday, so if I had, I would have seen the construction and probably realized, but never mind. Next time, at least Popeye is open. We got one water ride. It is actually only a 10 minute standby wait, so clearly not many Floridians are happy of getting wet today. Um, but for us, I mean, it's late 20s, nearly 30 degrees, so it's uh, plenty warm enough to get wet. I do not approve of this. John's gone swim shorts, uh, sandals, and a coat. Look, I was a boy cup scout. I'm prepared for this moment. No, you got to embrace it. Look at Jenny and I. We're, we're just going with the Crocs. We've got the Crocs. But we've got a change of clothes, so we're fine. Mum's got a coat as well for some reason. God's sake. If you're at Alton Towers, I get it. Not in Florida. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but. It keeps my underwear clipped dry and my. Just bring a change of underwear like I did. Well, I did on so oh. There you go. Well, uh, wow. rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. I was saying, it's cool you could meet Popeye over there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, I love this one. <laughs> with Popeyes. Did you get a bit wet Jenny? Just a little bit. That's so much fun wasn't it? <laughs> Do you want to show me? Good thing I have a uh, spare clothes and underwear. My stock top is sticking to me now. Yeah I can see it. We've got to change the clothes. I think we're going to go and do Jurassic Park if we're already wet. So. Hopefully my that shorts. sun comes back out. What about you John? Uh, just my shorts got a bit wet. My swimming shorts got a little bit wet. <laughs> all... John thought he could jump in the water. Down got soaked as well. Good fun. So we've all changed back into dry clothes. I only wore this briefly last night and I'm hoping to meet SpongeBob later if we have time. Um, everyone else has changed. You might have. I brought the wrong off. underwear, but there you go. It's better than being braless. So. You feeling better, Jenny? Yeah, much more comfortable. John's changed back into his normal clothes. I wasn't wet anyway, really. John just went in like scuba diving outfit and uh, <laughs> swim shorts for Popeyes. So. No, we're going to head over to our Wizarding World now and hopefully squeeze in for Bitten Journey and in Hagridge before lunch at Mythos. So, yeah, good afternoon plan. That's one of our combined favourites, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Really good ride. Never has not much longer queue. It's 35 minutes today. Um, it was 15 last night, but, yeah, we really enjoyed that. Um, we want to do Flight of the Hippogriff at some point, but we're running a bit short of time. Hagrid, we can now go on with the return time that Jenny picked up earlier before Jurassic Park. And then it'll be time for lunch at Mythos, which I'm really excited for. So... We're going to head over to Hagrid now and then go for lunch. So Jenny's found a shortcut if you're coming for Forbidden Journey to Hagrid to avoid the crowds. Come down to the left-hand alleyway near the lockers where it says Dervish and Bangs. And um, yeah, you can avoid the crowds to get to the lockers much better. And there's space to park the ECV. So that's a good move from Jenny. So we made a mad dash to meet us after Hagrid. Uh, just, made it just made it in time, so we checked in, just waiting. This is one of our first dining reservations of the last trip. It was trip. our actual first It was our first one, yeah. yeah. And now it's our penultimate, our second to last. Oh, so. that's so um, But it's such a good place to come for, um, for food in Universal. Really nice to break the day up. We've been going at it this morning with Express Pass. I yeah, mean, really made it worth done like six rides already today, something like that. Yeah. So we've really been smashing through them, but. Sorry, I thought I didn't know if we'd be called there, but yeah, the meat is great. We'll show you what we get. So this is the menu here at Mythos. Um, the thing what I would recommend is the Spanakopita dip, which Jenny and I shared last year. We're gonna have it again. Um, the dip itself is amazing. The pizza chips are warm. Really recommend as a starter. I also did like the sound of the lamb meatballs. Maybe one day I'll get them. And then for entrees, uh, where is it? So last year I had the fork, knife and spoon grilled cheese, which is one of its most famous entrees here. But I'm gonna have to go for the lamb burger because I had food envy last year when Jenny had that. 
So uh, yeah, the Mifos signature lamb burger. If you want a bit of a change, then they've got some salads here as well. I think mum is thinking of the Greek salad, um, the grilled chicken. You've also got the wedge and the Caesar. So lots of options here on the menu. Our drinks have arrived. My frozen banana daiquiri looks amazing. This strawberry one was really nice last year. Did you have it last year? No, I had a bit of lemonade. Oh, of course you did. Yeah. But no, this is really good. I highly recommend it as one of my main drinks. Um, Mum has also gone for the strawberry daiquiri. And John, what beer have you gone for? A youngling. A youngling. You've had a few of them, haven't you? They're yeah, nice, yeah. But yeah, so we're ready. Um, I'm also going to inquire if you can use the Mardi Gras gift card here um, because we have been able to use it in most places, so we'll see. So this is the starter which we absolutely loved last year, the Spanaka Pita dip with uh, pita chips, which are warm. This was so good, so, so good. Do you remember this from last year? Yeah, it was amazing, so good. We're going to have to portion it off so we're not eating too much each, but oh my God, this is so good. So that's our starter done. Really, really good, the Spanaka Pita dip. Highly recommend it. Um, it's like really warm and then you've got like the pita chips which have been like deep fried and oh so good yeah we, we cleared through that quite quickly but you can see the setting here at Mythos is really nice it's kind of like I describe it as maybe like a Greek Mediterranean menu um, so yeah I'm excited for this couscous bowl a bit adventurous because I'd had my sights set on the lamb burger or the Caesar salad I had the fork knife and spoon last year which was nice as well um, but this is something a bit different so hoping this, hoping I like it um, the couscous bowl, but yeah, it sounds nice. So, um, clearing out a bit now, but it was quite busy here when we arrived. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend a stop by Mikos. It's a really good um, restaurant here in Islands of Adventure. Our mains have arrived, and Jenny and I have both gone for the same thing. We've both gone for the chicken couscous bowl, which is really well presented. You've got your cucumber, your olives, couscous, chickpeas, pita bread, and then the chicken on the kebab. I've gone for a side of fries as well, just gone greedy. Mum has got the Caesar salad, is that right? Mm. Grilled chicken Caesar salad, which looks really nice. And then John's got the... And parmesan, and parmesan fries. Mm. And then John's gone for the grilled chicken sandwich, is it? Yeah, the balsamic bacon, the works. Nice, yeah, looks good. That chicken is so tender. I'm excited to try this. Mm. All done at Mythos, and that was nice. It was, um, yeah. We really loved it there last year and uh, it was good again. I have to say I probably wasn't as big a fan of my main course as I should have been. Um, I think next year we'll just get the lamb burger finally, but you know, it was still nice. Jenny loved hers and she had the same as me. It's just, I think, a personal preference. I wasn't a massive fan of it, but um, parts of it were lovely. The olives were good, the chicken was good, the starter was brilliant. I like my banana daiquiri and the atmosphere in there is great too. So yeah, I really recommend the Ethos. I think it's one of the best restaurants on Universal Property. Um, but yeah, I've just got an issue with my gift card. I'm going to try and resolve against services. Um, and then we're going to head over to the Hogwarts Express and pop over to the other part for the last few hours of the day. But yeah, we've done a lot today. I feel a bit more chilled now after that lunch. Um, yeah, we were there for quite a while. So anyway, I'm going to head over to get services and then grab the Hogwarts Express. So we're now on the Hogwarts Express. So um, if you're heading from Islands to Universal, there's mum. Um, you have to come through this gate here if you've got an ECV and you go down here and there should be a lift apparently so we can't technically use express pass on this one I don't think because of that because the express entrance is stairs but we'll uh, yeah do our best we're about to board the Hogwarts Express towards Universal Studios you excited yeah. we might get uh, attacked by a Dementor nice. it's all right you've got your Hufflepuff lanyard on to protect yeah. you to board the Hogwarts Express to Universal. Jenny, why the long face? Just like the commute to work. So Jenny just made a good point. Um, in Hogsmeade, they helped you onto the lift with the ECV for the for the train. The second you get to London, you're left by yourself. It's just like home, isn't it? Just like actual London, yeah. Customer service goes out the window. But yeah, I've had the whole bag, so she's about to get squished. I don't like this because it makes me think of home, but it's very realistic. Yeah, don't say that. Oh, couldn't think of anything worse. But yeah, it's very realistic the way they've done it. It's very cool. 
Jenny was just saying she doesn't even remember this bit of Diagon Alley. It just goes to show how big it is. I think maybe around there you've got Nocturne Alley. Potentially down there. I'm not sure. They also sell butterbeer over there as well. Um, but, I mean, they sell butterbeer everywhere in the Wizarding World. But, yeah. Um, that's a good shop there as well. What's it called? Uh, Scribulous. Yeah, I think you get some uh, good notebooks and things in there. Jenny caught the dragon, so that will be put in the vlog, I'm sure. But we're now going to head on to Harry Potter and the escape from Gingotts. I was quicker than Gingotts. you. Gringotts. I can't speak. Yeah, you were quicker than me. So we're done with Gringotts. They actually made a mistake and they put us on the train where you couldn't get the lift coming off and obviously Jenny and Mum can't do that many stairs. So they put us on a re-ride straight away so we could get off on the other side. So we did that twice. Um, so I'm counting now as two rides. And that is really good. I prefer it to Forbidden Journey. The other three prefer Forbidden Journey, but I'm just, uh, that's always so much better than I remember that ride. Like the coaster bit at the start is actually pretty quick. And like the screens and the turntables. So it's Jenny, it's a bit like Rise of the Resistance, but with like a roller coaster element to it. Um, which is really cool. So, no, I want to go on that again tomorrow. I really like that. It's actually, after Hagrid's, my favourite ride of the day. Um, Harry Potter and Escape from, Gr Escape from Gringotts. There you go, I'm trying to say it too quick. But that can be found here in Diagon Alley in Universal Studios. I think we're now going to squeeze in Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlour, because we loved that last year and Mum wants to get one. I recommend the Butterbeer ice cream. And then we're going to see if we can squeeze in E.T. before we head back. So here in Florian Fortescue's, you've got the choice of hard packed ice cream or soft serve. I recommend the Butterbeer soft serve. I'm not sure whether I'm going to get that or not because a few of the others sound interesting to me. I wanted strawberry and peanut butter but I didn't realise that was hard pack and I preferred soft serve so I'm undecided at the moment. But yes, yeah, a wide range of choices and you can add some toppings, I don't know if I can zoom in anymore. You can get hundreds and thousands, shortbread crumble, waffle cone pieces, chocolate chips and chopped nuts. But there's quite a lot of flavours here. Just to let you know the price in here, $6.49 if you want it soft serve, $7.49 if you want it hard pack. So certainly on the pricier side of the treat. And it's $1.19 each for a topping on top as well. Yeah. Ice cream devoured. We've got eight minutes before the park shuts. We're gonna see if we can make the most of Express Pass Day and get on ET with our Express Pass. If we don't, we don't. But yeah, thought we might as well dash over there now. Um, I love Diagon Alley, it's so well done. I prefer it to uh, Hogsmeade, I have to say. Yeah, better get a move on. We made it! I told Liam was worried we wouldn't have time for ice cream and ET, but I told him. I was sure we'd have to do ET tomorrow, but oh, the smell is still here. This is like the most nostalgic ride for me, I love it. Oh, me too. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so we squeezed in ET um, after doing uh, Gringotts twice so that took our tally for the day to 11 rides of the Express Pass which I think is pretty good going so when you entered like through the gift shop and like where you get your little passports which we didn't get 
Um, that smell of OG ET. But once you were actually in the Rai queue and on the ride, didn't smell like OG ET. No, so that was a little bit gone. disappointing, but we did know that. We did know that, and the ride was still great. Yeah. We loved the, the ride. ride we were roaring and clapping as we came off. Like, yeah, great way to end the day. Um, we had a group, a good group on with us. Yeah, we did. Yeah, but yeah, we've got that end of theme park day feeling at the moment. I just uh, refilled our thing one last time, although I'm in uh, in the doghouse because I got the wrong flavour. But I've been subjected to Minute Maid lemonade all day, and I'm a bit fed up of it. So. Like any other flavor. Minute Maid lemonade's the only flavor I actually like. But we did like. agree I could have a couple of colas. I had one Diet Coke earlier. Oh my god, look at And you I know, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I got Pib, which actually is really nice. It tastes like Dr. Pepper. Jenny doesn't like it, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. Pib extra, and I got vanilla flavor. It tastes like Dr. Pepper, but it's nice. Yeah, we're gonna leave the, pool, uh, leave the park now and head over to uh, the hotel pool, I think. Well, <laughs> this is what mum and John have resorted to, to getting out of the park, because both <laughs> John's legs are hurting, <laughs> and mum needs a scooter too. I don't think we'll try that. Yeah, no, I'll go flying. I'm good. I'm happy walking. I don't mind. Oh, it's that way. I'm going to get run over if I'm not careful. <laughs> good fun. Was that the best ride of the day? Yeah, better than ET. I think it's the heat at the moment because the, the sky at night is so nice here. And uh, as the park's closing, you got kind of the... Uh, velvety sky over the top of Transformers and then over there of course you've got Ride Rocket there'll still be people in the queue for that but all the queues are now shut park is now closing and uh, we're heading back to the hotel but a brilliant day here at Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios so the others are just heading to Cinnabon because mum is addicted to it and she wants to get something for the morning or maybe tonight I'm going to head over towards um, Bob Marley Tribute to Freedom and just inquire about the booking, uh, rearranging our booking because we obviously cancelled it last night and tomorrow's our last night of the entire trip. So I think we want to eat out somewhere. I've actually got a couple of restaurants booked, but this is one that mum wanted to do for ages. So I'm going to inquire about changing it or even if they're open because they have no availability according to the app. So they could be shut entirely, but we'll go and see anyway. And uh, yeah, see how we get on. So we're now by the pool. Um, here at night, Aventura, which is nice. We've refilled the hotel mug, which we've not used too much, to be fair. But um, yeah, we're going to go and chill in either the pool or the hot tub. Um, I don't really want to do the hot tub first because I don't want the pool to then feel cold. But Jenny's just collected some towels for us, um, and we're going to have some chill time. So obviously, I won't film too much because people are swimming around. But a really good day, good way to relax before the end of the night. And we might head up to the rooftop bar. Um, it's about 8 p.m. at the moment, so it's still quite early. And yeah, it's been a really good day, really good day. So we're all done in the pool. And we're now in the quick serve, otherwise known as Urban Pantry, aren't we? It's true, it's only half nine and we're really tired. And Liam's a little bit hungry and I'm I'm at that hungriness level. Like if I could smell and see someone else's food, I'd probably be hungry. But we're just gonna go back to the room, share a pizza in bed, watch Nickelodeon because it's SpongeBob and then very quickly it's gonna be Friends. Like Hopefully we'll catch the crossover. That would be really cool. We did. We it did might just be friends by now, actually. I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's friends yet. But either way, total chill one. Early night. We sound like such old people. It's hilarious. But you need it when you're hitting the parks this yeah. hard. Yeah. Do you know um, what? We're on night what? Like 15. <laughs> We've had 15 nights here. We've only got two left. So. Yeah. So you know, we're tired. Yeah. We're tired. I'm, so I, really I, nice. I really like the urban pantry as well. It's quite quiet in here. Um, so I think I said before, you can get like stir fry and stuff over there. You can get burgers and stuff over the back bit. And then here, I uh, don't know if the menu's even coming out, but you can get wood fired pizza, which is what we've ordered. So I was tempted by the stir fry because um, I came in a couple of times to refill the cup um, while we were like out at the hot tub and chilling by the pool. And it looked and smelled really, really good. But I think we're going to get, is it a Panda Express tomorrow? Yeah, hopefully, yeah, we in City Walk. Like For our different. last dinner of the holiday, we're going to grab we're Panda Express. We're a little bit like... Uh, chips and fried chicken and burgers it's getting a little bit boring maybe yeah but we've, we've had a lot of sit down restaurants and we did have a few planned for tomorrow but i think we've all kind of just said one money but two we're just kind of mm. like i love going to these restaurants but i'm kind of like oh i'm happy just to sit down it's been a big holiday we spent a chill. lot you know had a great time and we're just at that point we're like it's just chill vibe just i think for, for me we did so much at universal and islands in the last couple of days i don't feel that I've missed out no. massively. Like we've done the big things. We've got a few things we want to do, don't get me wrong, but 
I think that we can afford that time tomorrow to mm. take it a bit steadier. Um, and that's why we're having a chill night, but yeah. yeah. Also, the pool at Aventura, really nice. I, I was the only one to go in the pool. The others went straight for the hot tub. Um, but the pool was really nice. It's very windy around here, and I think it's because of the road next to it. Um, but yeah. Do you know what though? It's such a mild evening. Um, as someone who's always cold, getting out that hot tub and drying off, like I wasn't cold at all, even though it was windy. Um, and I just checked my phone and it says it's 23 degrees. So yeah. it's, yeah, really, really comfortable, mild evening. Um, and I think we can definitely see a bit of a t-shirt tan. I know that's not excessive for most people, but for a ginger, I think, I think I'm doing pretty well. And I'm very moly, so I've got to be careful too. Um, I mean, I've, I've not tanned at all, but I'm not, I don't really care. Um, we've been, been using Factor 50, so uh, yeah, we've been protecting ourselves. But yeah, it's been a really good day today. The Express Pass worked brilliantly. Um, we did 11 rides. I've probably already said this at some stage, but we did 11 rides of it, which is really good. And uh, yeah, we just come back to Aventura, which is just a really nice hotel to chill in. It's not very loud. The, the big difference I've noticed between Universal and Disney hotels is Although the theming is another level at Disney, it gets very loud and very busy because maybe they're more popular or more like attract more families. Whereas it feels a bit more adult and a bit more calm here, doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely yeah more grown up, more sophisticated. Just chill vibes. Chill vibes. Chill vibes. And that's exactly what we're going for tonight. So um, <clears throat> probably show the the pizza in bed, but beyond that, there won't be much more to show in this vlog. Um, we're just waiting for our pizza now and the donut and that. Uh, healthy as ever but you know when in Rome we've only got a couple of days left um, just to let you know our plans for tomorrow like I say we're gonna try and do a bit of both parks again um, we're gonna go in a bit earlier tomorrow hopefully because we're having an earlier night maybe try and have breakfast at the Today Cafe again because that was really nice um, and there's a few rides like Despicable Me Minion Mayhem the Bourne Stunt Show um, uh, Transformers potentially as well I know John definitely wants to go on Velocicoaster again so does Jenny we all want to go on Hagrid's again um, and there's a few other rides we want to repeat and then over the other side I'm just trying to think I want to do the Seuss trolley train I like the Seuss trolley train I like the Seuss trolley train that's yeah. a nice and one I, I would like to eat Krusty Burger but mm. also I've kind of said to everyone I don't really mind at this point because I feel content with what we've done and you're always going to miss something so don't ever put your pressure on yourself like tonight we were all talking about going to the rooftop bar and you could tell it was one of those situations where everyone was suggesting it but no one really wanted to go and you know don't ever make yourself do something just because you feel you should when you're here it's the reason i didn't do velocicoaster you know it's a holiday at the end of the day so you've got to enjoy everything you do as much as you can so yeah unless i'm actually really excited just to have a pizza sit on the bed put my feet up and completely unwind um saying that is nearly half nine so it's not early early but yeah so i think that's what we're going to do um anyway and uh yeah thanks for watching along i'm sure i'll show the pizza in a room but otherwise thanks so much for watching this vlog and we'll see you in the next one's just two vlogs left potentially i might even combine the last two days into one because there's not going to be a lot to show on the last day as we're leaving unfortunately um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this vlog and all of the others in this series please like and subscribe we're going to have future stuff coming within the next year again uh please follow our social media at the mjet adventures on instagram and tiktok and uh yeah just thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel because it really does mean a lot but um i'll show a clip of the pizza but for now we'll say goodbye until the next one just loving